Hi, this is Julia Chambers. I'm a student at San Jose State University School of Library and Information Science, and this video showcases my personal learning environment, which I created for Library 250 with Dr. Lurcher. I chose Protopage to host all three components of my personal learning environment because I wanted one-stop access, and this site seemed to provide that. I color-coded these top three tabs to represent the three components of my personal learning environment. Uh, the blue tab is my landing page, and these are the um, sites that I access the most often. The red, the red tabs indicate my personal learning network, and then the purple tab is my portfolio, um, and I have both public and private access to that. On my personal learning environment landing page, I have personal bookmarks, and these are the sites that I visit most frequently, everything from you know, online shopping to my banking, um, San Jose State website, and um, right below that are the three news items, the news um, feeds that I try to keep up on daily, Berkeley Side, which is a local news feed, New York Times, and Huntington Post. In the middle is my Google Calendar. When I hover over a uh, link, it, it shows me uh, what I have to do that day and weather below. And then um, to the right is my to-do list. And these are the items that help me keep track of things that I need to do every day. I'm gonna check off the personal learning environment complete because I'm on the final stages of that. Going up to the red tabs, these represent my personal learning network. And I've subdivided the personal learning network into five separate tabs. Um, online tools, reviewing resources, reference links, and organizations. But on my landing page here for personal learning network, I've got all the blogs that I've tried to follow every day. Um, I also include a uh, job listing feed that I the, the listings that I follow regularly, and also a Twitter timeline. My next tab is um, Personal Learning Network Online Tools. And these are the tools that I use regularly, not only personally, like my Google, my Google Drive tools, um, SLIS D2L, RefWorks, but also tools that I use in the classroom with children, such as KidBlog and TimeRine. Um, I also have in the formally been keeping track of my tools through Digo, and I still have those here. I'm just sort of experimenting with the idea of migrating all of these tools over um, to ProtoPage. But at the point, I'm just le at this point, I'm just leaving them here for now. And then I also have a sticky note to the right, and these are articles or uh, web pages that I want to refer back to. Um, but that maybe at the moment I didn't have time to read. This one, for example, is a, a page about guidelines to classroom blogging that I wanted to read. The next tag is my personal learning network reviewing resources. And these are the mainly blogs that I look at to when I'm doing collection development. Um, and But then I also have a bookmarks list here of um, other resources that I use when I'm doing collection development for the library that I work in. And next to this, I have a personal learning network reference links, and these are all the uh, common reference links that I also use in my work, and also on a personal level. Um, I have not only just general reference link, but I also have been keeping track of uh, reference links for specific projects, and these are links that may ultimately end up as a libguide at some point, but I'm just tracking them here for now. And finally, I have organizations that I follow on this page. And these are all widgets to websites that um, have information that I seek out often. And finally, we go to my portfolio. And when you click on this, you see all the published works that I have on the internet right now. Everything from an article I wrote that's in the Student Research Journal, to an uh, essay I wrote that appeared in a monthly magazine in the East Bay. Um, and then also blogs. For example, this is the Library 250 blog in which I've done some posting. So um, that is one way for me to keep track of all the published uh, written works. I also have 
items like a libguide that I created that's available publicly and different tutorials, one for Novelist Database, um, a tutorial uh, for the paper that I wrote um, on library cartoons. And then I also have lesson plans that I've published and that are available um, to the world. But in addition to this public space, I also have a private area for portfolio. And here are, for example, lesson plans that are in the works that are not yet published. And then I also have a very personal publishing page that has mostly fun stuff you know, my photo album on Flickr, I have a, a blog that I write for a cabin that my family goes to, and then some YouTube videos that are just purely private in nature. And that is about it. Thank you very much.